Good afternoon. The first stage of the inquest into the deaths of the Shoreham Air Show victims has been delayed again. The pre-inquest hearing was due to resume next Monday. The coroner has now moved it to March next year because the police investigation is still ongoing and the Air Accidents Investigation Branch has not published its final report into the cause of the crash. The family of a 19-year-old killed in a car crash in Hampshire say they are heartbroken the council has removed items left at her memorial. Lily Butterfield Godwin died along with her friend Abby Rogers when the car they were passengers in hit a wall in Lyndhurst in 2014. The driver was jailed for being under the influence of drink and drugs. Lily's parents have described the move by the parish council as insensitive, but it says the cemetery has regulations that do not permit the display of certain items. Police are investigating the rape of a 14-year-old girl in Brighton. She was assaulted on the 16th of October at around 9 o'clock in the evening near the level play area in the city centre. Officers are searching for Cedric Abu Baker in connection with the offence, which they say is an isolated incident. Two people have been arrested by Wiltshire Police as part of the investigation into historic child abuse allegations against the late Prime Minister Sir Edward Heath. Operation Conifer was set up in 2015. It's seen more than £670,000 spent investigating the claims. Now, a search for a pensioner who went missing more from her home more than a week ago in Maidenhead continues. Beatrice Stafford, who's 83 and also known as Mary, was last seen on the 6th of November. Police are looking through CCTV footage and retracing her bus route. Now, the government has announced it will be awarding £900 million worth of contracts to allow work to start on HS2. It says it's a clear indication it's committed to the project. Work is due to start next year. The route will pass by Wendover, Ellsbury and north of Vista. Now, in a few hours' time, the UK's tallest Christmas tree will be lit up at Wakehurst Place in Sussex, this year with a lantern on the top. Standing at 110 feet, the redwood is covered in 1,800 lights. Wouldn't like to change those bowls when one went wrong. Now, rather than Christmassy, the weather has been more balmy today, but will it last? Well, let's find out now. Simon is coming next with the forecast. From puddles to paddling, Driving through Europe, Eurotunnel the Shuttle sponsors ITV Meridian Weather. Well, if you've been a bit bored by the grey Tuesday we've had so far, nothing is going to change through this afternoon. An awful lot of cloud on top of us. You might find an odd spot of drizzle equally. There might be an odd glimpse of brightness, but temperatures very mild for the time of year, peaking at around 15 degrees towards the south coast. Now, as we head into tonight, nothing changes. It stays mostly cloudy overnight, and we'll see some patchy light rain push in as a weak weather front passes south and eastwards. That rain just turning a little heavier as we head towards tomorrow morning and very mild temperatures overnight much like they've been through the daytime so a bit of a damp start tomorrow but fairly quickly that rain's going to push away and it will brighten up quite nicely euro tunnel the shuttle sponsors itv meridian weather I much prefer the milder temperatures and of course we'll bring you lots more at six o'clock this evening when Fred and Sangeeta will be here but for now from the team for this lunchtime thank you for your company do have a lovely afternoon we'll see you soon bye bye